Are you suffering from low back pain with weak abdominal core muscles? If you have sacroiliitis, which is inflammation on your sacrum, and spondylosis, which is a lumbar dysfunction. Hi, my name is Annie, and welcome to my channel, Annie Pilates Physical Therapist. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to jumpstart the initiation and activation of your core muscles safely and effectively without aggravating the weakness, stiffness, inflammation, on your back, radiating sometimes on the outside of your hips. So get your mat ready and join me. Okay, my friends, for absolute beginners, you wanna start lying on your back. And most of my patients with this condition, their lumbar spine is very weak and they don't know how to engage their abdominal muscles. One of the best ways is to perform some posterior pelvic tilt position. If you're suffering from anterior pelvic tilt, this will help flatten the curve for increased lumbar lordosis to initiate some movement to posterior tilt of your pelvis as you tilt your hips up, still your buttocks on the mat, squeezing your abdominal muscles as you inhale, and then exhale, relax your abdominal muscles and your spine. And we'll do that 10 times. So again, you can place your hands on your hips to feel it. Tilt so you can feel the rolling of your pelvis. You're lifting gently. I'm squeezing my glutes and then abdominal muscles, pulling my navel towards my spine, as well as pushing my low back muscles towards the spine for posterior tilt as you inhale. Everything together, conjunction movement concurrently, and then exhale, release. Eight more, inhale, pull, curl in, pelvic tilt posteriorly, squeezing my abdominal muscles. So I'm holding it five seconds for beginners. And then as you progress, you can hold that up to 10 seconds, hold, and then relax to normal neutral spine where you can place your hand at the small of your back and you can glide through. Inhale, pull in, press your back to this mat, curl, pelvic in, tilt, abdominal muscles. As you inhale, exhale, release. Six more. Nice way to warm up. If there's any increasing pain, as long as not radiating down your legs or your hips, that's normal. You're just slowly mobilizing your spine. Exhale, relax. Slow and steady. Inhale, pelvic tilt. Squeeze your abdominal muscles as much as you can as you breathe in and breathe out. Four more. Inhale. And then exhale so you can see the gentle change of my pelvic alignment and you can feel the bony prominence tilting back pressing my spine to the mat and as I exhale I'm lifting and making a small space on your low back area two more inhale concentrate place your hands on your abdomen so you can feel it or on your pelvis area if you place a cup of coffee here you're spilling it back as you exhale, you're spilling it forward. So last one, spill the cup of coffee towards you. I'm pretending it's in my pelvic area here to your lower abdominal. And then exhale, tilt it forward. Well then, the next exercise, we're gonna activate your hip flexors. So let's extend your right knee first, if you like. We're gonna do a straight leg raise. When you do that, you are activating some deep muscles all the way to your lumbar spine. So to protect your back, you press again. The same motion that we did earlier. And then lift your foot up with your knee straight as much as you can, pressing your spine to protect your back. And then exhale down. As you lift, you press and abdominal engagement as well. And down. We'll do 10 times each leg, toes pointing to the ceiling, and down. Inhale, lift as much as you can. If you can go 90, that's fine. 
squeeze in your core and if there's any pain going down your leg stop it means you're irritating a nerve your sciatica you don't want to irritate that to progress from this from tippy toes you dorsiflex towards you and feel that stretch and then slowly lower it down so tippy toes away first as you lift and as you dorsiflex you go down inhale lift toes pointing to the ceiling dorsiflex as you lower it down last one breathe in squeezing your core in pressing your spine to the mat exhale down now let's switch to the other side bend the knee to protect your back extend this time your left knee toes pointing away first to warm up feel the sensation and you might find one side a little bit tighter and that's normal lift feel the stretch on your hamstrings and calf press down to the mat of your lumbar spine as you lift and then you can progress with dorsiflex or toes pointing you as you go down and breathe out inhale lift exhale down four more squeezing your core in to protect your back and activate your core muscles inhale lift exhale down last one lift and down well done my friends so that's number two number three exercise we want to activate your glutes muscles hands on the side of the mat we're going to do bridging bridging is one of the best way to strengthen your core at the same time your glutes muscles so lift as much as you can try your best not to over arch your spine you want to just do gently engage your abdominal muscles pull your belly button in towards your spine squeeze your glutes as you roll down you want to slowly lower your spine touching the mat bone to bone like what we did earlier pressing your spine to the mat as you breathe out and then relax again lift your buttocks off the mat as much as you can without hyperextending your spine squeezing your buttocks tight together my suggestion is to hold this five seconds hold for beginners to progress to 10 seconds and then slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time as you breathe out inhale lift squeeze your glutes exhale down five more you might feel tired on your buttocks if it's too tiring you can stop you can always add one more repetition as you get stronger inhale lift exhale down rolling your spine to the mat inhale lift exhale down i'm really pressing my abdominal muscles tight to engage my abdominal muscles and you're gonna feel it tightening as you continue doing it and you can continue placing your hands on the side of the mat if you're very weak last one and then exhale down okay my friends after activating your glutes your abdominal muscles now we're going to activate activate the side of your hips so you're going to lie on your side and clamshell is one of the best way to activate your hip muscles without straining your back and that will support your lumbar spine all at the same time activating your abdominal muscles squeezing your core in pressing keeping your back in posterior tilt again as you lift your top knee keeping your feet together and then exhale back down you can place your hand in front of you to support your spine so you won't intend to lean back if your hands are on outside here you might twist your spine and having your hand forward will remind yourself keeping that neutral spine position a little bit tilt abdominal engagement as you exhale down for beginners you can start five seconds hold as you open five four three two one and then as you progress you can hold it for 10 seconds and then as you get stronger then you can add some elastic band or ankle weights around your knee to add resistance slow and steady start with one pound then slowly increase the resistance as you get stronger as long as you're not straining your low back muscles two more i'm squeezing my core in as i open and then relaxing as i 
lower down as I breathe out. Last one. Inhale and exhale. Now let's switch to the other side. You want to do it in both hips. Lie on your side, bend your knees. You can place your hand on your hips so you can feel if you're turning your spine or keep it forward if you are very unstable and weak. Hold that for five, four, three, two, one. Place your hand in front of you if you like. I'm breathing in as I open. Exhale as I go down. Six more. Five more. Four. Three. We're almost done. Two. I'm tightening my abdominal muscles. And one. Hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. And that's it. I'm hoping you learned on how to activate your weak abdominal and core muscles. This is great for absolute beginners who want to jumpstart and learn how to activate your core. If you're experiencing some low back pain, spondylosis, or sacroiliitis with weakness radiating to your lateral hips. So this is a great way to start. And then once you progress, let me know if I could make a follow along video for the next progression that you can add with this program. If you love this video and want to learn more about Pilates Yoga and Physical Therapy Health and Wellness, please subscribe to my channel, ring the bell so you won't miss anything. Like and share this video. Every like you give to my channel, you are supporting me and encourages me to make more videos just like this one. If you have any questions, suggestions, or concerns, leave a comment down below. I'll try my best to answer each one of you. I'll be relaunching my back masterclass. If you need an extra help support and you need to talk to me with Zoom meeting calls, click the link down below with early bird wait list for a first come first serve basis for anyone who are interested to regain life without back pain with improve posture and core strength always remember be safe be well and healthy you see you in my next video training bye